Hi. <laughs> I wanted to talk about detox, detoxification from the big black box. Big black box being television. Television, mass media, mass propaganda, mass mind control, mass garbage. Um, I hate to be so dramatic, but that's what it is. Just want to let you guys know that television is not so cool anymore. Television's kind of out. Kind of sucks. Um, I am a former addict of television. It's really hard for me to even acknowledge that person because I'm I'm so far away from who that person was, but it's part of me, and I'm supposed to talk about it, and just do it. Uh, yeah, I was completely addicted to TV. I was dead inside emotionally and creatively, and um, I wasn't raised that in an environment where television was even a part of my life. Really, it was it was very restricted and very monitored. And during that my period of addiction, I feel like I was kind of like spreading my wings of uh, indulgence. And really, what I was doing is I was ripping my wings off. But I, it's a period that had to happen for me. Now I'm able to talk about it. Um, we as human beings are vibrating light essentially and as an addict to television you truly feel that you are not you don't have any ability to be a creator at all because all of your source of energy is coming from this big black box and that's its job its job is to rape you of your natural instincts and abilities to be a phenomenal creator and it's manipulated in a way that it does its job well. I would wake up every day that I had off and walk over to the couch and lay down and turn that sucker on and not stop watching all day. Sometimes all day. And for days on end, if I could, I would just eat food and not even care what I was eating and then make food and not pry my eyes off of it. It was just like, it's so foreign to me now to even think about it. But it's the truth. And I was dead. Uh, I would wake up the two weeks before I stopped and before I completely cut myself off, I would just sit there and watch TV and just tears would stream down my face, completely void, numb, non-emotional tears would just fall. And I, the only acknowledgement that I would give them to wipe them away would be to wipe them away. And the second week, same thing, just tears would fall. And I just remember looking at the TV thinking, do I need glasses? I think I need glasses. I can't see the TV anymore. But really, it was my body screaming out loud to me, stop. This is not organic. This is not healthy. Stop. And something inside my brain clicked. And I clicked off the TV. And I completely went cold turkey for about two and a half years. Nothing. Wouldn't, wouldn't even go near it for about two, two, two and a half years. And in that process, my creativity exploded. My sex life got better. I ate better food. I was a better listener. I was a better friend. I had more vibrant dreams. As an artist, my art was at its peak. I did everything better. And I am kind of putting out this challenge out there to all of you addicts, which, you know, I was there. I know how, I know where you are. The thought of turning off the TV for two to two years is like entering a parallel universe. It's completely foreign and scary and 
frightening because you will be left to your own devices of creativity as a creator and you're ripping yourself from something that is has no nourishment and has no value and is no true integrity to who you are um so i'm just going to challenge all you guys out there that are addicts and i encourage you to in indulge in the withdrawal symptoms because they're phenomenal and please message me them because I know every human being is different even though we're all connected in one we all respond to things organically in our nature different ways and whether it's something that comes alive inside of you or something inside of you dies whatever it may be I'm intrigued and I'm interested and it's something that is important to me so I encourage you, I believe in you, I have faith in you, you are strong, you can do it. Just don't pick up the remote control, just don't pick it up. Don't pick it up and see what happens. Just see what happens, whether it's two months, two years, two decades. I'm intrigued and uh, I'm inspired by you. So message me and you can do it. I know you can. Good luck.